Hi, Hi. bless the name of the Lord. Thank you for tuning in on tonight. Listen, we have a, um, we just have an awesome word on tonight. Um, Amen. Wherever you are, wherever you're tuning from, whether you're tuning in um, from our, uh, if you're logged on through our website, KingdomReformationMinistries.com, Kingdom Empowerment TV on um, YouTube. By the way, go and subscribe. Subscribe. It's Kingdom in I N Empowerment TV. Go and subscribe. All right. If you're tuning in on our um, Facebook ministry page, which is K R M Worldwide. Wherever it is you're tuning, or if you're watching from inside the app, really it's very easy because in the app you just click one button. As soon as you go in there, boom, the, the video pops. Also, up. Uh, regarding the app, those that have been um, hitting the notification button, everything has been fixed over the last what, month, month or so. Yeah. Listen, hit the notification button because it's very important. Um, as things go out, you'll be notified. Even of videos and things that's coming up, you'll be notified immediately. Um, before that happens. So when you do download the app, whether it's on the iPhone or Android, please hit your notification button. Amen. Listen, we're going to give everyone before we get started, because this one is going to just, this is just a word of encouragement Amen. on tonight. Amen. So listen, we're going to um, give you all a few minutes to get on and go and share, because I know sometimes there's a lag in the uh, live broadcast. Um, so we're going to give everybody a chance to go share, tell this, and I said, call your mama, call your daddy, your sister, your brother, even tell your pastors to get on here tonight. Amen. Because listen, no matter what level of leadership you're, you're on, sometimes you have that place where you just feel like giving out, giving up, throwing in the towel, all, all of that. But this word tonight is going to help you to continue to know that God is, listen, he's, he's hearing, Amen. he knows where you are. And guess what? He's orchestrated a lot of the things that are going on in your life right no, now. No, actually, he so, orchestrates everything. Everything. Yeah, listen, he allows, he allows he allows yeah. things to come into our life to listen to to cause our flesh to come into subjection to his will. Amen. Amen. So thank you for the correction. Yes, he's in all things. Amen. Amen. And if we do what? If we acknowledge him in all of our ways, he said that guess what? He will direct our path. Not maybe, Amen. not might. He said he will direct our path. Who do we acknowledge? We acknowledge the Holy Ghost because yes. he is a person. He is our friend. He is the greatest. Listen, he's the greatest counselor. He's the greatest teacher. Amen. Listen, he's just amazing. So I'm going to listen. I'm going to give you all a chance to go share on your various social media platforms because this word is going to be a blessing to you and your followers or family or friends on tonight amen we love y'all so much so we'll and we thank you for tuning more in more minutes for that i always say bring a friend and a pen i'm sure we listen we always share the word there's no need to get up and you know give our opinions but to be able to share the word and have truth it is the truth and just be able to walk that truth is an awesome thing um but tonight is going to be great because it, the Holy Ghost knows what we need at all, all times, time. at all times. And one thing we never, ever want to get into is just doing something just to do it, mm. you know, and, and, and speaking when the Lord ain't speaking, ah, you know, because a lot of does. times what happens is we keep doing the thing, but you haven't even grasped the first thing. Ah, Jesus. You know what I mean? So a lot of, so sometimes in the thing that he's already spoken, you mm -hmm. need encouragement. Yes. You need to be, you need to be watered on the journey. To keep you know what going. I mean? To keep going. Even if you all haven't read the book, The Dream Giver, which oh, is both of our, one of our favorite books that has been along this journey that has helped us and blessed us in so many ways. Mm -hmm. But he talks about in the book that there comes a place where there's a washing that has to happen. So a lot of times we could go through trial after trial, after setback, mm -hmm. after setup, after rejection. And you never get to a point where you 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 re you come to a place where you get washed, washed first by the word of God, mm -hmm. and then listen. Our physical bodies and minds and souls needs needs replenishing as well. So we need that along this journey. Amen. Amen. So a few more minutes, and we're gonna get right into it. What time is it? I always be watching the time. It's six oh four, honey. All we right, just perfect. started. No, give a few more minutes for the share. Yeah, we're gonna try to make sure. Listen, tonight we have this good 
lighting. Oh my gosh, y'all forgive us for the lighting for the past uh, couple of weeks. Um, but it's, you know, anyway, the word is there. Amen. So anyway, if you, in matter of fact, if you have missed any of our uh, live uh, online um, Bible studies over these past couple of months, you can go back on our website and watch them all and you need to because it's been it's been amazing last week was literally literally it was it was off what was the word last week uh that was the foolproof foolproof success right. plan yeah you definitely want to go back because we gave all steps of all of them was great but i'm telling you Last week will really, really bless your life. So go back and watch that. And again, as you're, if you're on here, tell us where you're tuning in from. We love, we love to 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 hear from you all to know where our where the people of God are, are tuning in from. And we also like to pray for Amen. those that we see when we go back and see your name in the chat room and all of that. If you're on our website, you can't really respond or reply, and that's gonna change soon. But right now, if you're on Facebook, you can comment and do all of that. So please feel free to just don't, cause guess what? We might have to block you. Amen. And I don't want to do that because we we really in the block ministry, but we can be. So just uh, be courteous in what you say. And um, we just, you know, we just welcome it. Amen. Amen. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started because we don't want to be labeled the time. I, we don't even want to hold you a whole hour on tonight if we don't have to. Amen. So we're going to just pray and we bless God for just being in our midst. Holy Father, we honor you on today. Holy Spirit, we acknowledge you on tonight for being our teacher, our Lord, our Savior. Father, you are just so amazing. We just thank you right now for taking control of these airways. Father, we submit ourselves under the auspices of your of, of your presence right now, Lord God. De we decrease as you increase in us, Lord God. Hide us behind the, the cross. Speak through these lips of clay and have your way the way that you want to have it. Lord, there are people up here who are going through that need to know that they're in, they're in the season of the rebound. Amen. Father, I I decree and I declare that they get off here with the, with the, with an encouraging, uh, with an encouragement within their spirit, with a refreshing Lord God. Father, we just honor you for all that you're doing all across this nation in the lives of your people, even those that don't know you. I pray that something that is said on this, this, this Bible study on tonight, that they will come to, to, to just give their heart and their mind and their souls to you because we are in the last hour. So Lord, we just yield Holy Spirit to you in every way. And we just say we come against every demonic distraction that may try to come. Even those that know they're supposed to be on here. But for whatever reason, the enemy is trying to keep them enclosed in this place to keep them going through this season where they miss the comeback, where they miss the rebound, where they miss the restoration, where they miss the rejuvenation. Father God, right now, draw your people, Lord God. As we draw nigh unto you, Lord, we honor you, we praise you, and we thank you. And we just say, have your way, Holy Spirit. We yield to you. We submit to you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to amen God. Amen and amen. We're just waiting. <laughs> I'm not waiting. <laughs> Listen, I told her today, I said, look, she, got, she got, listen, now one thing about it, look, she has a word of encouragement for someone that she's oh going to encourage on this evening, amen. Well, listen, y'all, this word the Lord dropped on me last week. I was in the middle of doing something, and I just heard this in my spirit very clear, and he really gave me the uh, the unction to, that this would be the, the title um, for, the, for, the, um, for the word on tonight, The Rebound. Simply Amen. called the rebound. Listen, type in the chat room the rebound. the rebound. Somebody is about to make a comeback. You've been through a season that seems like everything that could go wrong has been going wrong. But God says, and I prophesy, that this is the hour of the comeback. This is the season where you're going to see his Amen. hand move in ways that you've never seen him before. This is not a video of fluff, but I'm telling you, I only hear, I only speak what I hear my father speak. So I heard the spirit of the Lord say, this is a season of the rebound. Amen. Are you ready? 
Because I'm ready. Amen. Listen, Amen. I always tell my husband when he speaks the word, I receive it for myself first. We receive it for us. It's to us through us. Amen. So guess what? Amen. We were the recipients of it at first hand. So I received I received the rebound. Amen. Listen, when you've understood the journey that we've been on, listen, the when when he when I heard the word of the Lord, immediately my spirit leaped to attention. It was so I was just excited in my whole soul. So I pray that this word yes. on tonight would really encourages you and really gives you the stamina and, and whatever whatever it is you need to stay in the race Amen. to know that God has not forgotten about you. First of all, I took a few notes and like I said, I'm not going to be before you long, but I do pray that you go and share this word with somebody because it's going to bless their life. Amen. Amen. Listen, when you talk about rebound, I said rebound. Another word for rebound is a comeback. All right, a comeback. But I, I, I just, I just jotted down a few definitions um, as I was doing some study. It said a movement back from an impact. Mm. A movement back from an. How many have been through um, uh, some impact? Because I know we have. We've been through some impact. Amen. It seemed like it's impact after impact after impact. But guess what? There is a comeback. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're in the hour of the rebound. You're in the hour of the comeback. Yes. Glory to God. It's also a reaction to a crisis or a setback or frustration. Jesus. You're about to come up out of that thing. Amen. I prophesy. You're about to come up out yes. of that thing. The act of securing possession of... Of the rebounding, I'm not a basketball fan. Guess he can tell you about the rebound because I'm, I'm not. I'm not very clear. But it was saying of the rebounding basketball after a missed shot. How many of you all feel like you've missed some shots? Jesus. You missed some shots along the way. Jesus. So listen, you're about to spring back. You're about to come back. You're about to spring away from impact. Return to a former condition. Jesus. There is listen. God had a way. God had a a, a particular mm. uh, a thing that he 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 had in mind about your life. So listen, a lot of the things that you've gone through. Listen, let me also. He says a ricochet, mm. a bounce back, a ricochet. So there's an ideal that the king had for each of us before we even came to be. Amen. But a lot of us along the way, can I say it? We took detours. Amen. We got around things. We got around people. We started getting Amen. in our own way. We started allowing Jesus. the enemy to, to get in our ear, to cause us to go all on a path that God never intended. But God says this is the moment. This is the hour of the rebound. Amen. You're about to rebound. You're about to bounce back like never before. Amen. Amen. That's good. So listen, one scripture that he gave me that is, I'm sure a lot of us know it. It's Joel 2 and 25. Joel. Can you write this? You got, you can, well, you can't get on your phone. Joel 2 and 25. Make sure you write that. Can you, um, Will be in the chat room. After it that. says, and I will compensate you. You ready to be compensated? Because yes. I'm ready to be compensated Amen. for a lot of the hell that I've gone through. Amen. Amen. Are you ready to be compensated, honey? Oh, yeah, it said, and I will compensate for the years, Jeez. not days, for the years hmm. that the swarming locust has eaten. Jeez. The creeping <laughs> locust. The stripping locust. How many of you all feel like you've been stripped of hey, some things? Amen. The stripping locust and the gnawing locust. It's just like it's it's just it's like a little a pest, a pestilence. It's just keep mm. on just gnawing at you, gnawing mm -hmm. at you, gnawing. When you know you're supposed to be, you feel like you're supposed to be in a in a different season. Mm. When you know it should be bigger and better things happening for your life. It's just this gnawing, this gnawing, a pestilence that keeps on popping up. He said, and the gnawing locust, my great army, which hear me. Here we go. Which I sent among you. Jesus. Can somebody say that I sent them among you? It won't the enemy. Mm. Sometimes it can because I. It, it, sometimes it can be a, 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 um, some some demonic interference. Amen. But a lot of the time, it's it may it's divinely orchestrated that these things come to happen to us. Listen, let me give you some more scripture so you won't think I'm just speaking something out of my just out of my head. Listen, he says in his word, for his anger. Let's is but that. for a moment. This is Psalms 30 and 5. For his anger 
Sometimes he can be angry, angry with us for the way we've chosen to live our lives. Yes. His favor, he says, it, look, look at this though. He's so merciful. I love him so much. He said his anger is for yet a moment, just a moment. But his favor, somebody is about to get lifetime Jesus. favor. It said his favor is for a lifetime. Amen. Weeping, we know this scripture so well. Weeping may endure for a night. Your night season could have been long. It might be 10, 15, 20 years. He said it's Jesus. been an endure. He says weeping may endure for a night, but a shout of joy. Somebody needs to go ahead and shout. Jesus. Wherever you are, go ahead and, and get your shout on. Because he says joy is coming Amen. in the morning. When is the morning? When, the, when you wake up and understand that God says, listen, this is the rebounding season. Jesus. This is your hour to wake up from the, all the drama, all the, all the stuff that you seem to be going through. Listen, oh, sata. I feel this in my soul because I'm speaking my own story. Yeah. Sometimes you didn't even have enough strength to get out of bed. People didn't even know it. You're looking good. You're sounding good. You look like you're living good and all of that. But it's been, it was so much pressure on, fell on you like, like, Mayor man them said so much pressure fell on me I thought I was gonna lose my mind Jesus how about you so your night seasons could have been long but God says joy is coming now this is the moment of the re of the rebound Jesus. you're about to rebound listen can you give me my phone because he gave me some notes I just want to make sure um 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 because I feel the Holy Ghost y'all I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes, a lot of people are coming. A lot of people are going through. I just read about today. I think uh, she was. She had been crowned Miss Universe, Miss America, all of that. And 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 um, the mom was on some broadcast, and she was saying how her the the, the girl has been dead for a, a little while now. Mm -hmm. But she was saying how um, she. Nobody understood. She was a lawyer and she won Miss America. So uh, to most people, she was uh, inf inf she was affluent. She, she, you know, she had looked like she had it going on. She was gorgeous, all of that. But her mom said she struggled with debilitating depression, high functioning. That's what they called it. High functioning depression. Jesus. How many of y'all out there look like you listen, you in the limelight, you may be listen, looking like you got it all going on. But behind the scenes, you've been going through a debilitating depression. Jesus. That thing that just won't seem to loose you. But I decree and I prophesy by the by the will of the Lord that you're about to rebound. Jesus. You're not going to stay in that place no more. They're not going to be able to overlook you no more. Jesus. God is about to raise you up up from among from among the crowd he's about to take you to the top joseph yes. this is your hour god says it's time yes. for you to move from that place where you've been not only in physical but in your mind yes. in your soul in your spirit god says he's yes. about to breathe you're about to come back like never before jesus Go ahead, because I listen. listen. I feel the Holy Ghost. Amen. I gotta find this word that the Lord gave me. Listen, I'm gonna let the Lord keep moving. Um, I hope someone is receiving His word on today. I'm gonna just continue. I want her to finish up because I just have a little story just to finish, and then we're gonna be gone. But, and let me let me find this word that He gave amen. me. This is good. I hope somebody is really receiving this word because one thing about the word is sure. It's, it is sure. It is sure. Listen, we got it. It's time. Listen, I can't even find it. But it's time to come away. Come time to come away from the pre pretension. A lot of us have been, especially leaders. I'm talking to leaders. You've been suffering in silence. I know. I know for a fact because I get the emails. I get the inboxes. I get the things that you all are uh, that you all are going through that you can't share with nobody. But God mm. said mm. once again, this is your season and your hour for the comeback. I don't care what nobody mm. said. I don't care what it looks like today. But I'm telling you prophetically that you're about to come back Amen. you're about to rebound you're coming up out of that place where the canker worm and the locusts and all of these things have been at your at your heels Jesus. every time you take a step it seemed like you took it seemed like you take three steps back listen and guess guess what 
remember I said, sometimes the things that we go through can be de demonically driven. That's why he says, resist the yes. devil and he <clears throat> shall flee. Listen, we can bring things upon ourselves because we get in, we get in our, we get in our flesh and yes. say, listen, you looking out and you see, this is how they're doing it. This is how they're doing it. So this is how I'm going to do it. But before I yes. formed you in the belly, I knew you, I created you, I ordained you, I predestined your life. I predestined, there's a pre laid out plan for your life. So God says, this is the moment and this is the season where you got to come to that place and come away from all of the other stuff because this is the hour he says he wants yes. to, he wants to take your life to the top. I keep hearing Joseph. Jesus. Listen, you remember Job. Job. Job was stripped. Even his friends, listen, was laughing and mocking and telling him it was this, it was that, it was he. In his case, it was not demonically driven. It was divinely orchestrated. So some of these pressures and things that you that you are going through, let me read a scripture for you real quick. Amen. Let me give me a second, because uh, listen, my my mind is going going faster than than, than I can go. Um, it says, it is good for me, Psalm 119 and 71, Psalm 119 and 71. It said, it's good. For, it was good for me that I have been afflicted, hmm. that I may learn your statutes. <clears throat> so it was good that you went through the things that you went through so that you can learn his laws, his decrees that were made that he, that were made by a sovereign our sovereign king. Jesus. Amen. So listen, don't listen despise not the days of the small beginnings. All that listen, they laughed, they mocked, they told you you would never be nothing, you would never do nothing. The business ain't going to grow, the ministry ain't doing oh, nothing. God. This and this and this and this and this and this and that. Those are the locusts and the canker worms and all. God says, "Hear me one more time. You're about to come back." Jesus. You're about to rebound. Amen. 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 So listen, again, I hope somebody received that word. Is listen, you can't when the word of the Lord comes forth like that, is a is a receiving that has to happen. So I pray right now that those that's on the airway that's gonna see it, receive it, not only receive it, really get it down in your spirit to be able to, to see God manifest it. Amen. Amen. So look. As you were speaking, I was just sitting here quietly, as you can see. But I heard as you was going through all this, always a prerequisite in the mm -hmm. kingdom. Mm -hmm. There's always an if. Hey, cool. The word is contingent. The word is contingent. It is. And, um, you know, so I was here. They said you will reap mm -hmm. and you will rebound God, if God. you faint not. not. Hmm. See, and it's an interesting story. When um, I first heard about, you know, what the title was going to be about, cause like she um, prophet said, it was, you know, God gave her the title. When he gave it to her, he only gave me one thing. That's why I said, listen, today, I don't have much. He only gave me one thing. And I just want to share the story. So I didn't even know how it would really align. Mm -hmm. But it's really key because he said, if you faint not. And when you're talking about rebounding, you got to be... All of that is patience and being persistent. Yeah, cool. Yes. You got to be patient and you got to be persistent. So mm -hmm. it's this story mm -hmm. that, uh, and it's true, you can look it up, but it's just funny that this story was has helped my life over the years because I heard this story years ago. But That's it's the cool. story of the, uh, which you can type in there, the story of the bamboo tree. Remember I um, mm, told yes. you that a while ago? Mm. It's very interesting mm. because it kind of relates to our life. But, you know, over in, it's called the Chinese bamboo tree, and it's, and it's different from a lot of other trees. You know, any plant tree or anything will need the basic things. Well, we need soil, you know, water, you got to nurture it, you got to do all of those things. But the difference is, when we do all those things, we expect results, right? Mm, if, you start, if you start planting a, a garden, and you go out and water, you can come out in a week, and you'll see things, you know, mm -hmm. we, whatever it takes, you'll see things budding, and you mm -hmm. can begin to see that process, right? Mm -hmm. However, and when we talked about this before, of the process, there's a dying process. Mm, nobody gonna, wants to go through that. This not, we're not talking about that today, but mm -hmm. it's just interesting about this tree. Mm -hmm. So with this tree, in the first year, you see no signs of no development. Mm -hmm. Like no matter of fact, not just development, you see no signs of activity or development, nothing. So it's a whole year to go by. So imagine that 
when you plant something, oh, God. oranges or whatever, you ain't, you know, you're looking for something way mm -hmm. sooner than that. Because we're a microwave generation. So a year is a long, is, you know, is a, a long, long time, time waiting for a result or something, mm -hmm. right? So the first year, nothing. No visible sign or mm -hmm. of anything. It's just like, yo, it's mm -hmm. dead. Second year, no growth above the soil. So now, the first year, mm -hmm. what you think is going to become nothing. The second year is absolutely nothing. Jesus. On top of it. We were just talking about that. Thing after thing, blow yeah. after blow. It looked like nothing ain't growing. I done put all this work on doing, learning the process of planting and getting it all done. What's going on with my tree? Jesus. I can't even see, look, I can't even see anything. Mm -hmm. So when you usually can't see anything, what's the natural thing for us to do? Let me go see what's going on myself and go what? Pluck it up. Pluck it. Ooh, right? Jesus. So, but with this tree, you don't you don't see anything. So how about this long process continues for an, I'm sorry, continues for another uh, four years. Mm -hmm. So right. year one, year two, year three, year four. You're continually listen, and you're continually doing the same thing: watering, nurturing, <laughs> speaking. Look, I'm <laughs> Lord. I've been doing this. I've Give been it. doing this. Five I've been faithful. Up. I've been it seemed like everything come. <laughs> what's going on? I didn't I it seemed like I'm doing all the right things. So the first year, second year, third year, fourth year. But interestingly about this tree, the fifth year, a tree grows eighty feet ah, in six weeks. Mighty God. They say, listen, listen that, that happened fast. But listen to this. <laughs> eighty feet in six weeks. Jeez, Not in a year. In six weeks. 80, so it's one of the tallest trees. Mm, 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 mm. But it grew in one of the quickest times of six weeks. So it looked like boom. Oh, all of a sudden, you know, it looked like everything's going well. So my question is, did the tree really grow in what well, did the tree really grow in six weeks? Mighty God. Come on, help us. Help us. The, tro the, the tree really didn't grow in six weeks. Jesus. The tree was growing unseen hey. for four years. Jesus. Going you four years and seems like just the same thing as we're walking. That's what faith is. And we talked about that with the seed. Mm -hmm. Most people don't want to go through the process because in that process there has to be a death process, something you don't see. So imagine if I just want to encourage somebody, imagine if when you don't see nothing, you keep going to pluck it up like most of us do. And how and not listen. not physically a lot, we pluck it up with our but mouth. However, it's plucked time. up, mm -hmm. what happens is that cycle can you look? You can't get to the fifth year because the first year you you, you got My impatient, God. you plucked it up. Mm -hmm. So now if you plant it again, you don't know. You got another five years. See, you would never get to the place because you got impatient. Yes, and you wasn't persistent in the thing that God told you to without seeing it. You see what I'm saying? So I'm and that's, honey, that's why you got to know that you know that you know. know that you know when God is giving you mm -hmm. something, when God has spoken something to you. But listen, if you fickle and you listen, you listen to all of this nonsense yeah. out here in the world and you really are like, is that God? Is it me? So when you when, when he gives you something and it go, you go through a process <clears throat> of pro, that processing process. season or processing seasons, if you don't know that it really came from God, you would immediately jump off the boat that's you right. would immediately I'm jump ship up. you would immediately say i'm throwing in the towel and that's where a lot of people have, so, have been at but when it's god right. you can't just hit it and quit it mm -mm. it don't listen, work like that what he's doing listen Mighty this is for god. somebody listen what he's doing is developing a root system mm, mm, see mm, and in that development unseen place that is the time he's dealing with character because he know what the fifth year look mm -hmm. like if see if you stay in there, he said, "Listen, why this unseen? I got to deal with all these things mm -hmm. under here mm -hmm. because why you think things ain't growing? I'm dealing with. Listen, I'm putting you in a position of growth beyond the fifth year, but I know also what how deep you got to go to My sustain God. that. So this is really to encourage somebody because listen." Yours might not be at the same pace as somebody else. You, because you might have an elephant, they yeah. might have a cat. Amen. And it takes I'm longer. I'm just saying, it takes it's longer. not to, to diminish nobody's mm -mm. anointing or skill or whatever. But you may have a elephant. Amen. You may be growing a generation of elephants. So yours is going to take longer than that one that just had the little baby cats. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So you got to look at it like that. Listen. He says, and guess what? That's why it says weeping may endure for a night. Because mm -hmm. you're going to go through a season, a lot of season, my own self, his own, a lot of tears, a, a, a lot of, a lot of embarrassment, 
a lot of things that you're going through that you can't tell nobody because you're trusting God and you know that God spoke it, but it doesn't look like it on the outside. Jesus. You got, like I said, you got to have a knowing, a real knowing. Be still, be still and know that I am God. You got to know, know he's God, not me, That's but you got to know that he's God. You got to know when, when they telling you this is going to get taken or when they telling you this is going to happen or the business ain't this or what, what did God say? I heard the man of God say one time before, if it don't look like what God said, it ain't finished yet. Jesus. This Jesus. ain't it. That means that something is still working. Something is still growing. Something is still happening. I just got to stay in there. Listen. listen. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, and I just, listen, for my own own life just over the years, I can witness to that. I can witness to the bamboo tree mm. of years of putting in work Mighty and work God. and work and hits and this and that of years and people talking and looking like things won't go in the way that you said it. Mm -hmm. But then there comes a time that when you can't even slow it down. Mighty God. Hey, Amen. You can't even slow it down. Like, so it's, now it's just time to The blessings are Amen. literally running you over. Amen. You're coming to that season. That's the comeback. Listen, when God Amen. does it, he does not do it small. Amen. So guess what? When they, like he was talking about that bamboo tree, when it's growing, even when they was building, was that the skyscraper? You didn't see all the stuff that was going on underground. The foundation, mighty God. The foundation has to be, has to be strong because when the winds... And the waves and the and all of the stuff that that the life throws at you comes, you will be able to be still. You will be able to stand and see the salvation of the Lord. You will be able to stand in that thing and know. Guess what? I'm not gonna be taken out. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna retract. I'm not gonna look back. I'm not gonna give up because I know what God says. Amen. We're talking about the rebound. Amen. We're talking about bouncing back. Amen. We're talking about, listen, coming up from out of that place like you feel like you've been in a season like Job and Joseph. It, listen, it, and it wasn't just a little, a little bit of time. Amen. You got, listen, this, especially Job, he went from having all of this stuff, family, all of this, to his family getting taken away from, to him getting boils on his body, to him having to look, you know, look at people that keep telling him it must have been something yeah. that you did. And even he started to, ooh, call Rabbi. Some of y'all cursing your life. And God says, and it ain't, it ain't even all, it ain't even that. I'm putting, I'm moving you into my perfect will. The permissive will is, listen, got to go. You, because when you're in a permissive will, anything is permitted. Jesus. But when you're in this perfect will, listen, come with me. Amen. You're not moving. You're going to keep going. Amen. 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 So listen, tell somebody. You in the season of the comeback. I know we've heard that is 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 everything in the body of Christ is so cliche. And like I said, when you don't have a real breathing relationship yeah, with God, cliche. we take anything mm -hmm. in, from anybody and God and you saying something in the season that God ain't even in. He like, no, it's not that season for that yet. Amen. It's the season for this. It's the season for me. Listen, listen, I'm taking you through some things and they telling you, no, you got to come on out and you got, and God says, no, I need you to stay right there because I'm doing something. I'm doing something. I'm causing you to, to, to understand and learn my decrees and my statutes. So when you get to that place and you got all the money, you got all the people falling over you, all over you, you will be able to give all the credit back to the one who created you. Jesus. It's not about me. I know you see the Bentleys. I know you see the houses. I know you see the money. I know you see the TV. I know you see all of this glitz and glamour. But if it had not been for the Lord on my side, and, um, I wouldn't even be here. Glory and right to now, God. I don't even know who this is, but Deborah Morgan, whoever Deborah Morgan is. Uh, I see she was just saying she's not giving up. Listen, you can't give up because I just heard when I was up here, I was looking. I never really looked online and even prophesy but as i was looking right there i saw your name pop up and i saw 60. Ah, like so God, within God, 60 God, days God. within God, 60 God. days God. you're gonna walk into the season on what you've been sowing for i mean this is your season but don't give up because in the next 60 days you're going to begin to see a turnaround in your life and that's the word of the lord god is giving you some things specific things mm -hmm. this is for deborah 
God has given you some specific things. And God says you have to fulfill those obligations. Mm -hmm. It's that clear. God says he's going to do okay. it. He says 60 days. Right. He's going to do it. But God says there are some. See, the word is contingent. Okay. And it's for his purpose. It's because yeah. guess what? It's whatever it is he's giving you to do. It's not just about you. It's about some people Amen. that's connected to your life. Mm -hmm. It's some, it's some, it, so he's establishing your, your, your footsteps. Jeez. You've been kind of like here that God says there's an establishment that is coming. Jeez. There is an establishment that is coming. Mm, and I hear him say again, there is an establishment that is coming. Mm. I see a lot of things that have been going on. You just feel that you just felt very perplexed, Jesus. perplexed. And matter of fact, this is your scripture right here. Uh, Second Corinthians four, eight through nine. Jesus. I'm going to put that in the chat room. Second this is for Deborah Corinthians. Morgan. See, that's why I said, y'all listen, y'all can be, y'all can be. Can be cute be and, and try to be over here because look, it looked like it's popping over here. Everybody falling all over. But I'm telling you, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of people out here talking about their prophesying. Prophesying, I'm prophesying. I'm a prophet. I'm a prophet. This and this and that. There's a lifestyle that goes with the prophetic. And listen, those of you all who really want to understand it, there are classes coming. I'm right now, right now. I'm in the process. I've had people emailing me about it. When are your class? Listen, because there, listen, we've gotten this thing misconstrued about the, the prophetic anointing, about the prophetic mantle, all of that. And God says, I need my church to get back to what it really is. Jesus. First and foremost, there's a lot of people saying God said stuff that he ain't in. And guess what? When you talk about a prophet from somebody that's that's psychic or whatever the case may be, yeah. I'm gonna give you a secret. The very the, the thing is you need to be saying, where did you get that information from? Yeah. If the prophet is not connected to the Lord of Lord, the King of King and the Lords of Lords, they getting their information from somewhere else. So what does that make them? It makes them a soothsayer. It makes them somebody yeah. who just gonna give you something to tickle your fancy, but not really cause you to really grow in God the way that He calls you to grow. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So listen, the, differ the differentiating mark mm. between the real and the fake is the source. Jesus. Where are yeah. you getting your information from? Where's your downloads coming from? Mm. Very important. That's it. Listen, prophetic prophecy so Deborah, 101. Listen, Deborah, I'm telling you, <laughs> bless her. What's coming, what's coming for you is for the purposes of the Lord. Yes. So you do got to be prepared and right and really mm -hmm. be seeking them for it because it's coming. Amen. Mm -hmm. And listen, you it's some it's some I heard it's like a little chatter, 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 chatter. See, that's the that's the issue with people. You can't get around you in your circles, and God says you gotta cut away some people this season. Listen, Job he lost everything and everybody. Jesus. Some people you can't take this season. Mm. They're too carnal. And I'm just gonna say what it is, too carnal. And God says, you got to, it's, it's time, it's time for you to come draw closer to me Jeez. because it's some things that he's going to do in your life. It's going to far surpass that. Listen, they're going to be like, how did this happen? I knew you win all of this and that. And they're going to listen like the bamboo trees just seem like it's going to shoot up, but you're in that process. Mm. And you can't have nobody, nobody, nobody that's going to interfere with the divine process of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So listen, that's the word of the Lord. Oh, I hope that you receive it. One thing, please, um, Deborah and those out there, get your copy of the book, Awakening the Kingdom Within You. You can get it on our through our app on the website, um, KingdomReformationMinistries.com. Yes. Listen, it's a blessing. It's a blessing, not just because we wrote it. it was, I literally... We didn't write it. I'm going to tell y'all for real. Yeah, he just God. used... Yeah. Holy Ghost wrote. But it's led with scriptures and things that allow you to understand things and begin to walk it out. It's not yes. a regular book that I feel like you can, you know, you just read through and drop and it's great. I feel I like you get through God. a chapter or a couple of pages. It's mm -hmm. like, whoa. And then you start going back to the word and really mm -hmm. put it all together. And that's what God wanted to be because ultimately he's our king. Yes. He's our boss. He's our Lord. We're just vessels to help you get back. 
mm-hmm. to that place. Amen. Yes. So it's time to wake up from that sleepiness that a lot of us we've been sleep at the wheel, going to church, mm-hmm. doing all the things that we look that look to be right, but God says you've been sleeping, mm-hmm. and it's time for you to wake up from that sleep state. Because listen, in this hour, he said, you cannot have, I say it all the time, mm-hmm. cannot have eyes wide shut. You cannot have a, a spirit that is that is, that is infiltrated, a soul that is infiltrated with all of this nonsense that's going on in our world. We got to draw. We got to get in th- that word. And th- that's why this is this book is full of the word. It's going to cause you to really you wake my up. Little, see my little tabs. We, listen, this, our, this is our book. Is the, you know, that the Lord gave us, but we still go through it and take notes. Because I'm telling you, sometimes I go through it and I read it and I'll be like, we didn't write this. The Holy Ghost wrote this. There's a power that comes when you read that book. I'm serious. Mm-hmm. So you need to get it. $14.99. It's, listen, that's very, very, that's nothing. Amen. It's not about us getting rich off of it. Some book sales. We want to be give getting into away yes. Sometimes All, we did. We is. almost every day we give a book away to somebody somewhere we're I at. We're talking say, I to somebody. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> but mo- listen, but it's a lot. Leads, we get we get we give a, we give books away a lot when we're out. Like last night we went out to eat dinner and he felt the Lord unctioning him to give a book to the the Amen. lady who was our uh, waitress. So I'm just telling you. It's going to bless your life. Listen, I'm going to put all this, uh, all of our links and all mm-hmm. of that in the chat room. Listen, we look forward to your partnership. Yes, we praise God. I listen, so I'm telling y'all here. Listen, I'm just going to tell it like it is. Stop getting on and off the book. I mean, hey, off the boat. Jesus. I keep saying it on and off the boat. Oh, they ain't do something, whatever, whatever. So mm-hmm. I'm going to take my seat back. That's some nonsense. And then you take it back, rip it up, and go put it the into bamboo, some ground that ain't even wholesome. But Lord it goes Jesus. Back to the tree. Mighty you know, God. Because you don't see things, mm-hmm. you don't hear the right things, you go and begin to pluck it up, take it over here, but nothing's ever getting to the destination. You keep going. Running, uh, running, running. running. Oh, they got, oh, this one, this word better. Oh, they said, it's this. almost like, oh, this is not. It's almost like East to West movement instead mm-hmm. of what you're supposed to be. He said we're supposed to be looking forward yeah, one bro. way. But things that have you going this way. Pluck up here, go here, east to west. Yeah, so listen, I'm gonna put all of the um all of the information on how to donate because I always say listen, you never eat. I said I said it last week. Don't eat at nobody's Amen. table and don't leave a tip. That's just like yesterday would have been so rude for us. Even our kids know that. It would have been so rude for us to sit there, have conversation with this lady, have her be so great gracious to us and don't leave a tip. And my kids, so listen, listen, this is something. They be t- like, mom, you, you need to leave a little bit more. I'd be like, oh, okay. You know, so we've taught our, we taught our children right. Amen. So they 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 know. So I'm telling y'all, don't be listen. Don't be like one who just constantly eats or take your seed and put it somewhere that it should not be. Because there is some unwholesome grounds out there. I'm telling you right now. Amen. So listen, I'm gonna go ahead and put. Look, consider donating. Putting it right there. You go right there. Consider being a partner. Amen. Listen, it's I, I, we people. Yeah, I want you to pray, but some things is just God. Is already in your heart. I told I said this before. When God has sent somebody to really be in your life, you don't have to tell them what to do. They just Amen. come with a knowing. They come with an already to do. And I prophesy that God is putting already to do people in your life that you won't have to pump, that you won't have Jesus. to prime, that you won't have to manipulate, that you won't have to promise all this nonsense in order for them to do something for you. That's not the way. That we should be living. Yeah. That's not the type of people we should have around our life. So I'm just telling you that this is your hour and this is your season Jesus. to get connected. You know who you are. Even if you ain't watching right now, you're going to watch later. And you need to just be obedient to the Lord. I'm just putting all these links in here so that you all will have it mm-hmm. going so and mm-hmm. do all of that. And it will come back to you. In ways that you couldn't even imagine. Amen. Amen. So listen, this one last link. Um, if anybody needs prayer, please put it in the chat box. Oh, yeah. We will be make or sure. Or through the app. Um, I'm about that's what I'm trying to put right here. Just trying to act crazy on me. 
there you go download our app turn on your notification settings because like i said we do give information throughout the week we have words of encouragement perfect whatever it is look new whatever it is the lord lays on our hearts so we ask that you just be a part of what we're doing Amen. because listen no matter what i'm not getting off the boat i know this is the the kingdom message is what the lord gave us from the foundations of the earth so we are Amen. not gonna retract we did we we have in the past but we're not gonna do it this season because we know that we know no we almost did it in the past but we know that we know when God is giving you something, you can't just be up and down, in and out, on and purpose, on. Purpose, purpose. So it's all about purpose. So listen, we love you all. You want to pray? Close so out Father, prayer. so Father, right now we just thank you for the word God, that has come forth on the day, Lord. Yes, that God. we were out the way, Lord. That you would talk to the ones that need it, Lord. Not just need it, Lord, but that would receive Glory it, Father. Because many Glory can hear a thing, Lord God, mm -hmm. and not get the fruit of the word Jesus, so father i just thank you that today god. they will not only receive it father but begin to produce the fruit lord god that's within them some 30 some 60 and some 100 fold yes lord father we just thank you right now for keeping them that there be no incidents accidents mishaps father that when as they receive this word father there's no backlash father mm, that god, will come god. father because this is so the sorry. rebound season hey and yes season, god father, the comeback glory to, to come. your name god and we just give you thank honor you, and glory Jesus. for your people lord we just thank you on today we thank you for another opportunity and lord god we just thank you for those that will partner father yes not god. even lord which i can stand on father over the years, you promised me something in ministry, Lord God. Mm -hmm. and that is, Lord, yes, those Lord. that will yes, trust God. you hmm. and, and, and really will do the things from their heart, Lord, they will begin to see the fruit of their life. Yes, so listen, God. if you are out there, it's not, this ain't no pumping and priming, any of that, be obedient. Because I'm they're a you. blessing, and especially was it Deborah? Deborah, 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 at the end mm, of the day, listen, my God. you receive that word, it's going to be something great to come for you. <clears throat> but Father, we just want to give you honor, glory, and praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Just, Amen. Amen. I'm again just making sure that you go ahead <clears throat> and download our app. Follow us on Kingdom Empowerment TV. Matter of fact, subscribe. Follow us on, um, <clears throat> follow us on, uh, what is that? Oh, Kingdom and You on Instagram. Oh, you can also follow me on TikTok at TR Enterprises because, listen, I still do have that page. <laughs> so TR Enterprises, you can follow me um, on there as well. And share, tell somebody about this ministry. Tell somebody about Tisha Rick's Ministries. If you listen, if you're looking for somebody to come in and, and speak or whatever the case may be, listen, hit us up, call us, all of that. We love y'all. We're not going we're not going to stay before you too much longer. We just wanted to be here and do what the Lord gave us to do. We love y'all. Go and share this broadcast too. Till next week, we love you and look forward to the rebound. I'm Amen. excited. We love you all. Have a great night. Amen.